Well, hello, algebra students and seekers of general truths. Let us look at two equations here. And along in this, in this couple of lessons here, we've been talking a lot about equations. And let's solve these two equations here. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, because these two are very unusual. So the first thing that I am going to do with this, this number one here, we are going to apply the distributive property on the left side of the equation, also on the right side of the equation. So five times one is five. Five times four M is 20 M. On the right side, two times three is six. And two times 10 is 10 M, excuse me, is 20 M. And then I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. And this gives me 20m on the left. And then 1 plus 20m on the right side. And if you follow what we've been doing from the previous videos, uh, all we have to do now is subtract 20m from both sides, and that'll get us this one here by itself so subtract 20 M from the left and subtract 20 M from the right and what I end up getting here on the right side these two cancels and that's a one and on the left side these two cancels and it's not nothing a lot of people want to say nothing but it's really zero right anything subtracted from itself is equal to zero so we get uh, we get to a, a point here where it's really unusual we get what's called what I would call the contradiction okay? which is a statement that can't possibly be true right? this this statement here zero equal one one cannot possibly be true okay so that's very very unusual um, before I talk more about this let's go on actually and let's solve the second problem here and hopefully this will also clarify things a bit. So 2 times 3g is 6g. 2 times 2 is positive 4. On the other side of this, 1 half times 12g is 6g. And 1 half times 8 is equal to positive 4. Then uh, I can subtract 4 from both sides. And then I'm going to end up with 6G equals 6G. Okay, and then I can subtract 6G from both sides, and I end up with 0 equals 0. Okay. So what we have here are two very unusual equations. The first equation we can say is, tr is not true no matter what value of x. So that's what this means. It's an, it's an equation with no solution. No matter what you put in for m, you're never going to get a, a right answer. Even if you were, if you, there's no value of m that can satisfy it because you end up with a contradiction when you solve the equation. And then in the second equation, you know, no matter what value you get, you put in for, for g, you will always get a solution. Okay, so, this uh, last statement here, it's called a tautology, but rather than making up a, or using a fancy word, we'll just say that this is always true, right? When we solve this equation correctly, we get that this equation is true for all possible values of the variable. So they are true no matter what. So when do equations have no solution? Well, it is when we solve and get a contradiction. And when do equations have all real numbers? Okay, when we solve and get a uh, a statement that is always true. Okay, so when we solve an equation and we get a statement that's always true, that means the solution has all real numbers. The equation has solution all real numbers. And when we solve an equation and we get a contradiction, that means there is no solution. Alright, so I'm going to end this video here. This concludes our discussion and our um, notes on equations with variables on both sides. 
a lot of times when we have variables on both sides, we'll get a singular solution. And sometimes we'll get solutions that are um, always true or never true. In other words, it has no solution. So I should backtrack here and just add one more thing to our discussion. And say that this is a contradiction, so this has no uh, solution. All right. As always, thank you for watching. Ask for help when you need clarification and have a wonderful day.